Hello mga ka-FT! So ngayong araw, sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin ang tukul sa dissolved oxygen at kung ano ang application nito sa aquaculture. So, Pero bagong lahat, kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, consider to hit the button of subscribe in order for you to get notified kapag may upload ako mga panibagong video. So, let's get into the video! Ano nga ba ang DO or dissolved oxygen? Ang DO po ay nagre-refer sa any free non-flowing compound oxygen na na-dissolve sa ating any bodies of water or liquids, most especially sa ponds sa aquaculture. Bakit nga ba mahalagang ma-monitor or ma-assess ang DO level sa ating mga ponds? It is because, una, ang oxygen po ay directly affecting the growth and processes of our cultured fishes. And pangalawa, And to a general point, it directly affects any living organism that is present in the bodies of water. The OPO or oxygen itself affects, directly affects the growth of our cultured fishes, most especially sa kanilang production. And if kung mababa po yung DO sa mga pans natin, it will cause stress and magkakaroon po sila ng fatality, mortality, and will decrease the level of production sa ating mga cultured species. Do DO or dissolved oxygen is necessary? Yes, of course, necessary po ang DO sa mga pans natin. Let us all remember that as an organism, we require oxygen in order for us to survive. Ganun din po yung mga aquatic living organisms natin. Fish, invertebrates, bacteria, and even planktons requires oxygen in order for them to respire or to survive. These organisms or aquatic organisms uses dissolved oxygen in order to respire through their breathing apparatus such as gills. Let us all remember that the bottom feeders such as crabs, shrimps, and even oysters requires 1 to 6 milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen while the shallow fishes or organisms require higher dissolved oxygen as example of 4 to 15 milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen. So, ang tanong, saan nga ba nanggagaling yung supply ng DO natin or dissolved oxygen sa mga bodies of liquid, most especially sa mga pans natin sa aquaculture? So, as we all know that the plants produces oxygen or any other autotrophs through their process of photosynthesis. Yun po ay isa sa mga sources ng DO natin. And other one is that from the atmosphere, the oxygen enters the bodies of water through air and diffuses it to the surface of the water. And then, nagkakaroon din po ng supply ng DO natin through aeration. It's either man-made or natural-made na mga aeration natin. Man-made aerations are most makikita natin sa ating mga ponds or even in aquariums. Yun po ang example ng mga man-made. And natural-made aerations are the waterfalls and any bodies of water that separates and diffuses the water molecule of hydrogen and oxygen through air. Ngayon naman po, let us talk about the application of DO in our ponds in aquaculture. So, DO po, is an, sabi ko nga, is an important water quality parameter in order to monitor our ponds. Now, if the DO level in our ponds or dissolved oxygen level drops into 2 ppm, it can cause death or mortality to our cultured fishes because of lack of dissolved oxygen can cause asphyxiation. And the other issue or problem that is being encountered, if the amount of dissolved oxygen rises up above the required dissolved oxygen level, it can cause embolism or gas bubbling disease. Critical DO level or concentration directly and negatively affects the growth of our cultured fishes, for example of trout and salmon from 5 to 6 milligrams per liter and for the warm water fishes is from 3 to 4 milligrams per liter. So, here's the catch. Question is, how do we able to know if the dissolved oxygen concentration is already on its critical level? 
Let us all remember that in fishes, they have to adopt in any variations in their environment. So, pag may pagkukulang sa dissolved oxygen, they have to adapt. Physiologically, they have to adapt and reduces their movements in order to reduce the usage of energy which requires oxygen. Pangalawa, we will notice that some of our fishes are swimming at the level of the surface water. So, this means that they are grasping for their breath and in order to catch up with the needs of the oxygen because they are lacking of oxygen level in the pond. So, what do we do now? If this observable behaviors of our fishes has been seen in our ponds, ano bang dapat natin gawin? First, we have to monitor the DO level in our ponds. Second is, if it is necessary, we have to change the water of our ponds. Next is that we have to also ensure that the area of our pond can cope up with the population of our fishes. For example, let us think that the higher the population, there is also the higher needs of dissolved oxygen in our ponds. If the dissolved oxygen level concentration decreases and the population increases, it can cause mortality or death to our ponds and can cause the decrease of production. Let us also take note and consider that there are big difference between the DO needs of our cold water fishes and warm water fishes. And also, the causes of this decrease of dissolved oxygen is either phytoplankton's blooming in our ponds and algae that also consumes dissolved oxygen. That is why in our intensive aquaculture ponds or any ponds, we are monitoring the DO concentration or dissolved oxygen level in our ponds every day to ensure that we have the correct level and to cope up with the needs of our cultured fishes. We are also monitoring the level or blooming of our algae and phytoplanktons because also they are using and respiring the dissolved oxygen. If they are using that, they, it decreases the level of dissolved oxygen which cannot be coped up with the needs of our cultured fishes. So, paano nga ba namo monitor ang DO concentration or DO level sa mga ponds natin? In usual, intensive or extensive ponds, they are using titration or DO meter apparatus to monitor the DO concentration in their ponds. But how about yung mga nasa barrio-barrio, yung traditional na nagkukulture ng mga isda? Here's the catch. They are manually and traditionally changing the water of their ponds. Kapag nakikita nilang yung isda nila is already grasping their breath, in the surface of the water, that is now the time that they have to change the water of their ponds. Mr. Salvo Gumbok is changing its water kapag nakikita na yung sign na yung isda niya is already swimming at the surface. The source of his water is from the natural uh, river or creek and that's why he constructed a small canal in order for the water to flow from the source to his pond. That is why he is able to cope up with the needs of the self-oxygen level of his tilapia and other cultured fishes sa kanyang pond. Yay! At tapos na tayo sa topic na dissolved oxygen mga ka-FT. Abangan yung mga next video ko concerning with the fisheries technologies or BS fisheries na course. And also, mga topic tungkol sa aquaculture and aquaculture engineering. Consider nyo din po yung pag-subscribe sa channel ko bago lang po ito. Abangan yung next video ko mga ka-FT. Yan na lang po muna sa araw na to. Bye-bye!